And uh, here's a story that uh, has been a problem for many years now with magazines carrying images of models who look unbelievably thin. In some cases, their photos have been altered to make them look thinner. Well, Israeli lawmakers have had enough. They fear that these altered images are leading to a big increase in eating disorders. A new law aims to stop that. Locally, it's being called the Photoshop law, after the American image editing software widely used by media professionals. CCTV's special affairs correspondent, Rory Ruttenberg, has more from Tel Aviv. 21-year-old Margot Stellman is a student and now a model, just like her sister once was. She died of anorexia here in Israel two years ago, trying to be ultra-thin in front of the camera. That didn't stop Margot from following in her sister's career footsteps. It's kind of a, a personal revenge, I would say, against uh, this terrible disease. Unlike her sister, Margot and her fellow models aren't afraid to eat, even hamburgers. That's largely thanks to their agent, Adi Barkan. If these models and the models from the rest of the industry did the same thing and worried about their bodies, there will no longer be little four- or five-year-old girls who stand in front of the mirror and say, I'm fat, when they're this skinny. Barkan became a reformed man after a starved model died right in front of him. He began pushing for a new law regulating eating disorders in his industry and specifically targeting the culture that promotes them. The law went into effect this month and now models must produce medical records showing consistent healthy body weight or risk a fine. They could be banned from shoots and runways altogether and they and the agencies that use them could be sued for damages by the general public. But there's more. According to industry experts, it would appear that many of the models in these magazines have actually dropped down two sizes over the last several years. That's thanks to digital enhancement. But with this new law, that sort of manipulation will now require the ads to feature a warning on at least 7% of the image. One in 10 young Israelis suffers from the eating disorders anorexia or bulimia, and the number is quickly growing. There is a clear connection. Dr. Eitan Gur is a psychiatrist and says the law is a good first step, but not enough. The government has to do is invest much more money in treatment, in prevention, open beds in hospitals, open up clinics around the, the country, and that costs money. Critics say the law will be tough to enforce, but advocates believe that given time, society will change with healthier looking models paving the way. She never liked this disease. She wanted to get rid of it. She wanted to be normal. So I wish she was here. She could see me, I'm sure. She's very proud of what I'm doing now. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Tel Aviv.